I know you thought you probably weren't going to see me again, but here I am. I just didn't want to make a promise to you guys, but I totally knew I was coming back. So here we are. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much to everybody that's been showing my last video so much love for fake sake. I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad you viewed it. I'm glad you're back rocking with me. Um, I didn't know which way it was going to go, but I am forever thankful and thank you to new subscribers. I really appreciate it. I saw those numbers go up, made me happy. So I'm glad to have some new people rocking with me. So what am I here to chat about or rant about today? I want to talk about boundaries in social media because of late, I've had some people kind of violating those boundaries. And I don't necessarily think that it's coming from a place of like malintent, um, but clearly it's also not coming from a place of common sense either. And so I figure it may be helpful for those who may not want to like raise their hand and say like, yeah, I do this stuff all the time. Um, but maybe quietly you could be listening to what I have to say and tweaking your behavior so you know people that are maybe unfamiliar with my story and you know how i even arrived here at even having a youtube channel uh social media has been huge 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 for me huge for my career um i credit it with a lot of my success Largely not because I didn't have to do anything with myself to be successful, but I will say that a large portion of my network and the opportunities that have come my way are because of social media and, and the work that I've done or the networking and communities I've joined as a result. And so I see it as a powerful tool. The gift and the curse of social media, however, is the access. So while you have immense access to so many people that you probably wouldn't ever run into in your lifetime from a global perspective, it, there's almost too much access in a sense to the point where people don't really know like how to kind of like ease their way into a social or online relationship with somebody. And when I'm talking about relationships, I don't mean necessarily romantic, although it will be true of romantic relationships as well, but there's, there's really no semblance of boundaries. Like people just kind of invade your digital space and don't think twice about it. Similar to how like if you met them in real life, it wouldn't be pleasant if somebody like invaded your personal space. Like there's that little box, you know, that's like within the perimeter of your body. And generally most people get very uncomfortable if you in turn invade that space. The same is true for the digital space. There's just kind of, there's a process, you know, like you can say hi, we can compliment one another, we can like things. But like there's a process to the getting to know you kind of phase. And there are just certain things that like if it wasn't in a rule book, certainly as an adult, there should just be like common sense around like what makes sense and what doesn't. Right. So examples. So I have a, um, a study, let's just say that's going on right now. And I've been sharing it generously and I've had some really great feedback on that study and some people who kind of chimed in with their own, you know, thoughts and, and opinions and such. But see, like now that I have this whole thing going on, one of the people who I genuinely, honestly, am so thankful for their feedback now feels that it's okay to tag me in their personal posts. They tag me in jokes. They tag me in things that are pertinent to my study. In fact, just shortly before I hopped on this video, I get a DM from them to carry on some conversation or other about said study. 
So here's the problem with that. As much as I am proud of this study and really excited about what the results will be and sharing those results and all the things that go along with doing research, I don't necessarily want to talk about it every moment of every day. I just really don't want to do that. And if you're just reaching out out of genuine interest and you're not a friend, I don't know you. So when you tag me in your jokes or you tag me in your personal posts, I'm feeling kind of weirded out because we're not friends. We just kind of like cross paths online. Like that's kind of what's happening. I mean, I mean, so, you know, like I don't really know how to broach that. And then like, you know, I'm in New York. So like it's midnight Eastern Standard Time. And so this DM came in like all of what, maybe 30 something minutes ago. So yeah, it's like booty call hour or whatever. I mean, I'm married, so I'm not exactly looking for booty calls, but you know what I mean? Like it's like boom, boom hour or sleeping hour, depending on how you want to slice it. And like you're DMing me like about generational stuff. Why? Like. Common sense should tell you that that is like you crossing a boundary, like you are invading my space. And while I'd love to have that discussion with you and you probably mean well, I I just probably don't want to have that discussion at like 1150 at night, like, or 12 o'clock, 12 a.m. on Friday. Like, I just don't. It's a boundary cross. It just is. Um, so yeah, I just think people don't get that like, yeah, you can do the social media thing wrong, just like you can do networking in person wrong. So my first tip would be, you know, if you're wanting to get to know somebody or you're fascinated by their work or you take a liking to them, cool, fantastic, but you might want to just pull back, you know, ask them. Is it okay if I contact you from time to time to have a discussion? Is it okay if I connect with you on other social media platforms? Like you might want to ask that kind of thing just to see where people are at. And I think people will appreciate it. I know I certainly would appreciate that kind of request. But like you request me elsewhere. And like I said, I'm getting like, you know, these late night DMs about my study and like all I'm really thinking about right now is eating my birthday cake from earlier this week like that's really all I really want right now is my birthday cake and then and then my bed because you know it's that time of the night um so yeah it's just like it should just be common sense but I guess it's not and so I figured I just share that one tidbit the other piece is like, you know, these people who like come on your post and like ask you to like, you know, check out their business or give them feedback. So here's the thing, like my business is a business. Like if you look up my business name in New York, Talent Think Innovations is a legitimate business. Like I don't just talk about it for talking about it. So that said, when people ask me for advice, like that's something I get paid for. I'm not really going to go to your site as a result of you leaving a comment on my page or on my social feed and just like dole out free business advice. Not only is it rude, but two, you presume that I'm just here to give free advice because of course I can pay my bills with free advice. Like it just doesn't make sense. Um, and you're also somewhat detracting from my message for whatever that was at that particular moment. You decided, oh, I'm not going to make it about how great or not great you're do whatever you're doing or saying is. I'm going to actually make it about me on your feed, on your site. Like, who does that? Again, it's a boundary cross. So, you know, I get that we're all so feverish to get our businesses out there and to have people latch onto it and eventually decide that maybe they want to patronize us 
and hopefully that leads to moolah in our pockets and all that good stuff. I get it. But like you can't do that on other people's backs. You, it's just not right. I would not go on another business person's site or social feed and promote my own business unless I was invited by that person to promote my business. Just makes sense. And I totally get that people are using algorithms now because like that's the new thing. Like I'm so, so busy in my business that I don't have time to promote my own business. So now we use algorithms. And so there's like these really static messages that just get shot out, I guess, based on hashtag or whatever it is, I'm on to you. But even that sucks because one now it's like not only you are invading my space, but you're like lazily invading my space, double whammy. So yeah, you probably don't want to do that. That's like another boundary cross. So again, I'm not asking you to raise your hand. Just take the advice and just try to not do these things because I'm certain it's not just me. I know tons of my other colleagues are off put and very annoyed with these kind of things. I'm just going to be the one to say it. I mean, like that's basically it. Um, but like those two things are like my top two pet peeves. And then like three, again, you know, the access piece is like you allow people into your life through social media. I know, especially for business, I can't speak to what people do in terms of from a lifestyle perspective, but like as a business, I'm here storytelling. I'm trying to clue people into who I am and why I do what I do. And so you get different bits and bites of who I am and what I do and and what moves me. And, you know, a lot of people do this. It's not like it's just me, but I just find it ironic and interesting that people actually feel like they have a, a business telling people how to live their lives, like at every turn, like they are the people who are like viral in comments all the time, you know, oh, your child's not positioned properly in their, their car seat or, you know, you really shouldn't show your boobs. Somebody I follow that actually happened to them. She's like breastfeeding, a breastfeeding advocate and on and on. And she has some woman that's constantly telling her that she shouldn't be showing, you know, anything having to do with that. It's none of your business, lady. Like if she wants to do that, she should do that. And in fact, it's part of her business. So like, how dare you? Um, I think people just have to know when to see something and keep it moving. The beauty of social media is that you can follow somebody and you can simply unfollow or you can connect and you can disconnect. It's kind of simple. So if you don't like what you're seeing, just move on. But having something to say about people's lives and specifically people who you probably will never meet, probably only engage with them online anyway, and you probably only have like one sixteenth of the story, you just probably don't want to be on their feeds all the time, doling out unsolicited advice that they never asked for. It's crossing a boundary again, and you're probably not impressing them either. So then that whole piece of possibly building a relationship and possibly taking it offline, it never quite happens because again, you cross the boundary and you're pissing people off. So those are my top three things, guys. I hope they're helpful. I had to get it off my chest. So it's like a little bit educational, a little bit rant, um, but I think still very necessary because I see these things going on all the time and I feel like don't people know better? But then there's things I don't know. And so I figured I might as well just say it in the event that it helps somebody kind of sift through these things. So there is that. And also, if you want to ever catch me live, you can catch me live every Thursday at 11 p.m. on Periscope at um, my show, my live stream show, at Zarina Live there. And I'm at Zarina of HR. And I will actually put the link in uh, the comments so that you know exactly how to find that show. But thank you so much for tuning in and I will be talking to you guys really soon. All right. Bye.